Andrew H. Why I Can't Work, Fall Winter 2022 Edition. Copyright Disclaimer. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism and commenting. The Art of the Dry Bag. What is dry bagging? It's a form of manipulation that involves a person to stress a financial burden or need for financial assistance and not make a request directly to a close party of interest to only hope that the close party offers assistance to support. Dry begging. Here's an explanation from the internet. Here's one that I heard last week for the first time. Dry begging. It's an act of trying to get help from someone without having to swallow your pride and actually make the request. Example. I won't be able to make my rent this month. My kids need new underwear. The cupboards are bare. Sharky is calling in my poker debt and I can't afford a new tie for that job interview next week. Do you need to borrow a few bucks? Thanks, man. You know me. I'm too proud for my own good. Now let's listen. Can you spot the dry bag? Well, bad news is, is I'm going to be laid up for a month or two and then about, probably about a couple months of physical therapy. So, I'll be, you know, in the next coming month or so, I'll be getting, um, we're going to go right into the good news. The good news is, uh, Monday I go in for a pre-op appointment for my shoulder. And then I set up a date to get it fixed. Bye. No, not right now. You've been eating already. You've had waffles and cereal this morning. We're fine. No, you're not. You're not cooking it right now, kid. Sorry. I'm hated this morning. Good news is I'm getting, uh, I got a pre-op appointment for my surgery um, Monday. And then I'm going to go get my shoulder uh, surgery as soon as plausible. Interesting choice of words there, Andrew. Let's look up the definition of plausible. Plausible. Of a person. Skilled at producing persuasive arguments, especially ones intended to deceive. Bad news is I'm going to be laid up for about a month. And then I have to go through physical therapy for a few months just to make sure I have, you know, I can do what I need to do with my arm. Check out that range of motion throughout this video. All goes well. I should have at least, not, not 100% because you never get back to 100% after any surgery, but I should have at least 95 then maybe 98% back. So that's a good thing. Bad thing is my fall work I can't do and my winter work that I do, well, basically my winter work is I go up and shovel for my mom. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be. Imagine that. Couldn't work in the spring, too much rain. Couldn't work in the summer, too hot. Now he can't work in the fall and the winter because of his shoulder. I mean, it's shit. I'm losing money, but roofing starts next month, and roofing starts back up next. Until the first snowfall, so I'm screwed. But I have to get it fixed. I have to get it, you know, back to where I need it to be. So I'm not always, you know, in pain like I have been for the last week, week and a half. Um, On his last live stream, when he was talking about it, somebody left this comment. With all that, sending good juju. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good juju always. Good vibes, good vibes. But, you know, losing losing work and losing money is all part about getting yourself fixed. So I have to get myself fixed, and that's what I'm doing. Ugh. Have you had a... Uh, no. Um, I had it looked at. I had it x-rayed, and doctors couldn't find anything. Um, so you've already had it looked at, and they couldn't find anything? Six months ago, and... I was supposed to go see a bone and, a bone and joint um, specialist six months, well, six, seven months ago now, and I never did. So the doctor already said there's nothing wrong? So, I don't really like doctors. That's not really my thing. But, uh, I'm, not, I'm not as young as I once was. If I got it fixed a decade ago, I would, I mean, it, I wouldn't take, it wouldn't take me so long to get back. Six, seven, oh, sorry, six, seven months ago. Uh, but yeah, if I would have gotten it fixed um, when, it had, when it initially happened a decade ago, I would be, I, I would, it would, I'd be fine now. Uh, Wait, so which is it? Six weeks ago or a decade ago? Or just the other day when you heard it catching your brother-in-law in the pool? Um, I'd already be on the, I didn't want to take me so long to go and get, um, it wouldn't take me so long to heal from the surgery. It wouldn't physical therapy I'd be able to do but here I am in my 30s and I you know we don't heal that fast anymore so 
Um, like I said, I got the pre-op appointment with a bone in joint place, and come Monday, so all goes well. I hope as well, I guess. Pre-op, and they haven't seen her yet, and you've been told there's nothing wrong. If it's just a, I mean, if it's something that's quick, easy, and I ain't gotta stress it, I'd be so happy. But if it's like legit, where tenants are, you know, shot and everything, it's crazy. Thank you, Miss Holly. You can always count on Holly to feed him for a Set day. Up surgery date to get that done and over with. So I'll be laid down for about a month. So you're going in for a pre-op visit, and you don't even know if you need an operation or not yet. Given that I'm left-handed, well, it is. No, that's good news. Sad news is I'm losing work. <laughs> what a joke. Roofing starts back he up next month. He hasn't even seen by the specialist, and he's already sure. And he can't I won't work be able to go to work, and I won't be able to go roofing next month. All right, thank you. You have a good day too. Thank you for being here. I'm guessing his brother Listen, Eric on Evan is in the comment section. Leave a comment. So, but I mean, it's nothing bad. So, um, it's pain, literally. I'm left-handed, and I will have to do things with my right hand. But our bones is gonna come up and spend a little while with me. Uh, help me out. What's up, bud? Say hi to everyone. Alright. So, I was just gonna come up and stay a couple nights with me when I first get home to help me out. <laughs> I'd have to wing it, yeah, pretty much. I think next I'm gonna go get the rest of these teeth pulled and walk around with, you know, fake ones. I mean, eventually. I'm doing things slow. I still don't like doctors. I'm not really a guy who likes doctors. So, um, Ex-wife. Are you on the phone? I think she's on the phone. Yeah, guys, it's, I mean, it's good, it's good news and sad news. So, you know, I, I've been looking forward to going back to roofing and getting my money up and doing my job, but... Right. You know, it happens. I'm just thankful I had enough money put aside to get the child clothes. He'll be okay. His son, who was 44, had a major shoulder surgery, pins, and was down... Two months, including physical. You have to you have to listen to the doctor's instructions to heal right. Like I said, I'm all left. I'm all left side, so that's gonna be kind of hard with my left side going out. Yep. They're gonna go take X. They're gonna go take X rays. No, it's a basically it's a pre op. In other words, they're really good at what they do. Um, a bone and joint. Um. I don't know what that, a bone and joint place basically takes in, basically, you let them know what's going on, they'll go in, they'll take MRIs, x-rays, whole nine, to find out what the, to find out if there's an issue, and then if there is a issue, then at the end of the appointment, they'll discuss the surgery. You have to ask yourself why he's already thinking he's going to be late from the surgery when he hasn't even went in for the appointment yet. Okay, you know, dealt with as soon as plausible. A Freudian slip or on purpose, plausible. A person skilled at producing persuasive arguments, especially ones that are intended to deceive. Eve. Some places are really good like that, especially when the place only, only specializes in um, bone and joint. So if you go, if you have, if there's a, a clinic around, or yeah, a clinic, I don't know exactly the proper wording for them, but um, if there's a place that's around that specializes in just that, then you're good. I mean, it's their job to assess, and if there is a major to assess, and if there is a major major problem, then they'll, you know, set up surgery right there. Um, if she's up, ask her for some food and get the dog off the cat. Well, apparently my insurance, apparently Eric on my insurance covered all of it, so. So my appointment's going to be, so my appointment is basically going in, finding out what the issue is and what the next step is to correct that issue. So, and more likely, and more, most likely going to be either something as easy as putting a insurance, um, a, fixing a couple of nerves or something tiny, or they're going to go in and they're going to, uh, put donor tenants, donor tenants on um, there, or if absolutely need be, they'll replace the whole. Donor tenants for duck's sake. <laughs> that pump's better not be locked in your room. I got Fidelis, my guy. It covers good. <laughs> Same here, dumbass. Get scans first. They don't do MRIs unless needed. Well, I don't, like I said, dude, I'm going to a bone, a bone and joint place, and they said that's basically how they yep. do it. Yep, Evan's good email in the comments. Well, I just finally got her in there. After her bike woman. 
Oh, I'm going by what they say, dude. <laughs> Definitely. Well, they do everything right there, so. Like I said, they do everything right down, right there in, in their own facility, so. And they're really good. Uh-huh. But they're not wrong. Zero issues with St. Mary's doctors. Yeah, I'm not going to St. Mary's, dude. I'm going to Albanese. I got an appointment in Albany. So. She's half asleep, dude. She never got to bed till like three. So. And she closed the goddamn door. Of course she does. No, Albany, dude. Albany. And they just, like I said, from what they told me over the phone, they're, they'll have everything right down in there that day. As far as everything I've been through, which is a lot. A pre-op appointment is for after the test. Well, like they said, uh, they, I'm just going by what they told me on the phone. They said they're going to do, they're going to go in, they're going to look at it, do a bunch of tests. And then after they're going to, and then after all the tests are in, they're going to turn around and they're going to, we're going to discuss what needs to happen after. So before I leave, I'll know what's going on. Why are you always lying, Andrew? So. So come Monday, I'll know. Like I said, I wasn't going to do shit with it. I wasn't going to go for an appointment. I wasn't going to go get my shoulder fixed. No, I was going to let it go until it was done on my side. But now that I'm having issues, fuck it. Even sleeping, dude? Fuck that. At least you don't fight yourself with me. No, instead I, I stretch my arm too far. It fucking hurts like a fork. Baby kitty. Yeah. Give me the kitty. Give me the kitty. Listen, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to... Stay here and have coffee with Bones and my roommate. You guys have a good day, but thank you for being here. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to talk about our, our child, so you guys have a good morning. Thank you. Boring as always. Yeah, I know I'm boring. It's a short one today, guys, but I'm... But all you people out there that think that, oh, the poor guy just needs a break. Someone just needs to show him kindness. You just keep showing him that kindness. Feed him for a day. He'll never learn to feed himself.